I want you to imagine just for a minute what it would be like if you didn't have to have withdrawal pain from methadone or heroin or or antidepressants or cigarettes or any of these drugs. Just imagine that, that you don't have to actually experience the withdrawal pain. In my view, people would be more inclined to get clean. If you don't have to you know, use and then go into withdrawal and experience that horrendous misery, I, like I say, I used to sit with, in detox with people and go through this for so many years and just, uh, I, I recognize a number of you in here. This is Karen, by the way. Yes. Uh, by the way, I'm Karen. <laughs> Karen Lane. And Karen's, you know, you've been an addict for... Uh, probably since I was about, since they first put the bottle in my mouth, the alcohol in my mouth, I was five years old. Yeah, they gave me my first beer for Christmas. Yeah, and uh, I'm 55 now. Uh, I've known less since I was 17 from Vancouver Detox because I've been in and out of there all my life. And um, in the last, say, 15, 20 years, I haven't been using opioids for addiction or not shooting dope anymore, but when I got hit by a car, I had to get on opioids again. Right. The first time he treated me, um, I came in and I, I, I was very skeptical and uh, I didn't even realize that um, I was swinging my, I was on a higher chair, I was swinging my legs back and forth, my mind was so relaxed and I, I was just like, whoa, wait a minute, and I just, yeah, instant pain relief. Like as soon as one of those little things fall off, I notice it. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's my sciatica, something's missing. I got to, you know, I take out my sheet, find out, put it back on, good to go. Simple as that. So Karen was telling me that uh, after she went home after the first treatment, oh. she felt so good, she, what did you fall asleep and they came at your door? And oh, said, I forgot about that. I had my morphine at 5 a.m. that day. And then I got treated, I went home. I would have needed my morphine by the time I got home. I totally forgot about it. I forgot about it throughout the night. I didn't even have a withdrawal symptom. Usually I could notice the blood pressure go up, the heart rate go up, the sweating, mm -hmm. right? None of that. that uh, so I was keep going on with the evening. And then the staff come to my door, knock, knock, knock. And they're like, Karen, you forgot your morphine. I was like, Oh my freaking God! I was like, I've even forgot about the treatment! I was like, this fuck, it really worked! Like, uh, I never go without my morphine that long. I've been coming back and noticing differences in different things more and more as I go along, and I haven't even been in it for very long, like, not even a week, right? And already I notice my stomach differences. And my breathing, and then what's, sleeping. What's happening and with your stomach? My stomach? Yeah. Well, my digestive tract is actually moving when it, I could barely get it to move. Mm. Yeah, constipation from yeah, the opiates. Yeah. It's moving, and I'm happy. Does, about does that. it help your constipation? Big time. Oh, good. Big time. Nice. Yeah, that's one of the symptoms of uh, using opiates. Is it basically paralyzes your digestive tract? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as long as these electrodes are on the appropriate spots, the, the toes and the fingers, the, every cell in your body, every tissue, every organ is being treated. So the longer you can keep them on, the, the, the healing process is uh, continuing. Continuing. So that's, that's why I, you want the electrodes for home because I, as of now, don't have the money for the ink. So... That, the, that I can treat myself at home. And I don't have to wait three days for less or something, <laughs> or if I miss him or something, right? I can do it myself. And hopefully others. Okay, yeah. so Martin, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your state of withdrawal right now? 10. Okay. So you're really... I know, I'm in withdrawal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, haven't, I, haven't, I didn't use last night. I've had one 10 paper at like 10.30 this morning. So yeah. you're you're starting to get uh, really agitated, oh, yeah. start to sweat, and and really edgy. Sweats, yeah. 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 Uh, my joints are achy, all that. Oh, 
so let me just explain a little bit what it, how's the, uh, it feels, it feels great, actually. Yeah, I haven't felt, there's still some pain there, I'll be, like, be honest. There's what still was it before, pain. and what would you say? Oh, would at the 10, it was probably a 13, and now it's, <laughs> now it's probably down to a 4. Wow. Four yeah, like it's feels, amazing, isn't it? It's fantastic, yeah. It's amazing. How simple it is. Yeah, I haven't felt that much relief in my stomach for a long time. Mm. A very long time. Mm. For the, as, okay. for the, as for the withdrawal, I'm feeling, I don't feel more, I, don't, I feel less anxious. Yeah. But I, st I still feel oh, yeah. iffy, iffy, you know. Uh, what I that's mean? natural, like, man. Yeah, that's natural. Yeah. Okay, but so. I'll uh, give it, I don't imagine it's going to be perfect the first go, like for the first day or whatever. So well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep it. you've got a lot to overcome. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah. The thing is, the longer these are on, the, uh, uh, the the longer and the deeper the effect will be. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why we put on this special sealer to keep them on. And, and you're going to find the effects start to get stronger and stronger. And when they do come off, we put them on again. And mm -hmm. you know, um, overall, you're going to just feel a lot more comfortable in your body and your mind because what affects your body also affects your emotions and your mental state.